I come here to play because it's uh, one of the great pleasures of my life. Uh, work is work, life is life, family is family, and this is all for me, and I love it. I like to play. I play for myself. Yeah. Playing for yourself, you add a measure, you drop a measure, and nobody cares except you. And suddenly I was playing with other people, and as the keyboard player you sort of have to really hold the form and that was intellectually a huge challenge. You know about seven or eight years ago I really missed the sticks and uh, picked up a set again and discovered you know this music school just a couple of years later. Uh, it's been an amazing you know, sort of realization of uh, artistic side, I suppose, or whatever it is, it's hard to say. If you could say it in words, you would. But you play it, because that's the right medium for music. Right? The experience of, like, uh, playing with other people, um, and I feel like that's a big part of it. It helps you get better. It becomes more than just what's written on a page, and there's a really strong connection with the people you play with. I really like playing the trombone. It's a fun instrument to play. I bring people together to play music. People are busy with day jobs and raising a family. They don't necessarily have time to organize a band, or put together rehearsals, or find a gig. So I found there was a need for that, and it's grown. Now I have 19 ensembles that meet every week. I think the mission is to bring together people who would have a hard time finding one another, but who share an interest and a passion for, for music. A lot of my students now, they meet each other here and then they go off to play their own gigs and form their own bands. So something that they thought they would never do. So that's great to see. Okay, here we go, from the beginning. Dan is a great nudger. Someone who doesn't get in front of you or tell you what to do, but just nudges you on the side. Uh, one, two, three, four. Every time it's a little bit less legato like that. The average Morningside Ensemble member, they are very serious and passionate about the playing. Moreover, they're uh, more than likely to be people who are really coming with an attitude of fun. I'm trying to spread the love. I'm trying to uh, get people to play together better, getting them to hear how to play as a group. I live inside the particular bubble of my particular work community, and it's been a real pleasure to meet really interesting, lovely people who share a different interest with me, and I think that's one of the things that Morningside does. Tiny bit faster now, just keep it nice and light. One, two, one, two, three. Over time, I feel less uh, freaked out when somebody says, why don't we try this? <laughs> and, uh, and it's a this that I've never uh, seen or heard before. But I, uh, I feel much more capable than I did, and that's a huge plus. Oh,